Hello everyone and welcome to the last or before last episode of the Civilization 6 series. Hopefully we'll get to win the game. Hopefully you guys would have learned something. Other than the Nintendo Switch is shit at playing Civ. So we'll start repairing our tiles and go to the next turn. All right, we got ourselves a great artist. We finished our walls in here. Let's just buy the amphitheater. And we will buy the art museum as well. And let's just work on walls here. Okay, let's just take Granada for now. And this guy is, I guess, just repairing stuff. This artist will create his first great work here. And then this guy. Okay, this guy can let click. So apparently I hadn't changed my government. So I just changed my government to democracy. So I went for these cards. Hopefully we'll get some extra gold. Some extra industrial adjacency. And we can finish this game. Yes, I am sure. The sculpture serves and we have finished building the Cristo Redentor. Which will give us extra tourism from relics, I think. Let's let's see what it gives us. So it gives us tourism output from relics and holy sites is not diminished by us to the addition of the enlightenment civic. Okay, that's not gonna help. But it also gives us 100% tourism from seaside resorts across our empires. Now we have to focus all of our builders onto building seaside resorts. We're going to create a national park here that's going to give us some error score and we're up to 281 tourism per turn. Look at this. We have all of the city states in the game. What a sight to see. So I wanted to build a seaside resort here, but I don't have seaside resorts unlocked yet. But we're working on that, so I don't know what I'm going to do with all these builders right now. We finished building the National History Museum in our capital. And we work on a spy. Well, this guy can build a lumber mill. And this guy can build a colossal head. This guy can stand here for a bit. We get another colossal head here. Our archaeologist is complete in Sparta. We'll work on some. We'll work on an aquarium. We'll build a shopping mall. So I was gonna build a national park here, but I found out that neither of these cities can reach all three tiles. All three tiles. So this is what we ended up with. Our archaeologist can go get this artifact and this guy can build a... Let's go with a colossal head. Why not? This guy's on his way down here. This guy's gonna build a colossal head here. So as you can see, we are up to 57 out of 215 tourists. The game says we need 76 more turns to win. I don't think so. No one has started on a... We're the first in diplomatic victory. No one has started a science victory. And no one's even close to a domination or religious victory. So I think we're close. 
So I want to try and see if buying a couple of boats might make Norway happy with us. So we'll try that for now. This is our second national park just finished. Okay, our plan worked. I bought two frigates and this guy is happy with me now. So I think we can get allied with him and finish this off much, much sooner. We just bought our first rock band in Euphesis and we're going to send him to Persia to maybe rock out. We're going to send him to Persia to get even more tourism out of them. We'll build the aquatic center in Sparta to get some more tourism and some amenities as well. So I just took the ghost to 11 promotion on this six pound rock band. I don't really know what it does. So any extra help in the comments would be much appreciated. So we succeeded in recruiting partisans in the Viking city, but it doesn't, it doesn't look like anything spawned, sadly. Let's perform our first concerts. Let's perform our first concert in Broadway. And they didn't die. Let's go. They're not dead. Another rock concert. And they're still not dead. I can't believe it. Twice and they're not dead. Oh, the partisans did recruit. They're over here. And finally, the band known as... I forgot the name. Died. We're gonna research environmentalism because it gives us a 25% boost across all of our empire. And that's gonna be a very nice boost. Our other rock band just performed on a water park because they have a bonus when they perform on a water park and they got a promotion, which is amazing. We won the World's Fair and got one Diplomatic Victory Point and 100 Great Person Points. Which is... Look at that. We beat the other guy by so many points, they weren't even close. So I used up all of my Diplomatic Favor, but I got two Diplomatic Victory Points. And I voted properly on those two as well. And now... If we go to the Diplomacy screen, we have 14 out of 20, which is not really close, but close enough. And we just built our first seaside resort in this city, and hopefully we'll build a lot more. The Vikings denounced me, but I got open borders with them. With bef the Vikings denounced me, but I got open borders with them before that, so that's gonna give me the extra tourism I need from them. Our OP rock band is performing on a harbor, and damn it, they're dead. A place of magic and enchantment. One more wonder in the pocket. That's the boss right theater. It's going to give us some more places to put great works of writing and music, I think. So Persia is going to sell me their splinter of the, of the true cross relic for 400 gold, which is nothing. Thank you, Persia. Alexander will also sell me two relics, two greats of work. Uh, Alexander will also sell me two relics. Two greats of Alexander will also send me two relics, two great works of writing, and two great works of art. For all this, and 120 gold, I think it was. I don't know why I can scroll down. Okay, guys, so I really wanted to continue this game. And actually get to the victory screen 
but sadly the game is very laggy it's very glitchy it's taking ages between every turn and as you can see by the leaderboards we already got this in the bag basically these guys are too far away from a science victory and we're gonna keep increases increase and we're gonna keep increasing our culture as we play so our tourism is gonna increase everything's gonna increase and we're probably gonna win sooner but as you can see the game is really glitchy and it's unplayable basically i hope you've enjoyed this series leave some comments tell me what you guys think tell me if you guys think i should tell me some fun challenges you guys think i should do and i'll see you next time goodbye Bye-bye.